Ha! The leaves are falling and the change of the season. I said that backwards, but I don't care, because I'm excited for Thanksgiving. Ah, do the wiggy wiggy pop 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 Do the wiggy wiggy pop 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 man! Ha ha! Round the nose. What's your problem, you jerk? Well, since Halloween is over, there's no use of wasting these good looking pumpkins, so I'm just gonna have a pumpkin fight. Heads up! Bingo, that is pointless, childish, stupid, and also- It's on now. <laughs> From much? <laughs> Yoink! It's not easy being a bird. What? What? Ow! Stop it! Where did these pumpkins come from? Stop it! <gasps> oh no! You're coming with me, little mister. <laughs> I can explain, uh... The dragon! <laughs> ah! Ugh, stupid kid. This is a time to be thankful, not throwing pumpkins at people. Because friends, near and far... Uh, did you just try to throw a pumpkin at me? That song is copyrighted! Tiki <laughs> Winky, take it easy. You don't want to be overfed. Yeah, and besides, you need to set your tummy for Thanksgiving dinner. Mmm. <laughs> right, we gotta say for Thanksgiving dinner, aka eating a turkey. I'm guessing you're not a big fan of Thanksgiving, Big Bird. No, I'm not just a not a big fan. I hate it. I hate Thanksgiving. Why, I don't see no reason why we have to eat a bird who used to be full of life and innocent and was running free. And then we had to put it on a plate. Why? Why are birds always the main dish? Well, I would say I know how you feel, but I'm not a bird, so... Look, Big Bird, if you don't want to eat Thanksgiving dinner, that's fine. But the turkey is a Thanksgiving tradition. Extra, extra! Read all about it, folks! There's a turkey shortage! Turkey shortage! You won't find any more turkeys around here, so prepare to have a Thanksgiving dinner with no turkey. As I said before, turkey shortage! Where did he come from? <gasps> a turkey shortage? That means no turkey for Thanksgiving! Oh, no! Oh, yes! Now I won't have to worry about a helpless bird this year. Because there is a shortage! Okay, I get it. Well, I mean, that's fine. We can eat other stuff. But Dipsy, it's not the same without a turkey. I mean, a turkey is like the king of Thanksgiving. It's like the PB&J in a sandwich. The chicken nuggets at McDonald's. The popcorn chicken at Sonic. A bird is always a main dish. That's pretty much a tradition. We should eat birds. Okay, you are creeping me out. Well, how about instead of birds, we have meat? You know, maybe a meat turkey. Or how about instead of a turkey, we just make it into meat? Yeah. Mm, that does taste good. What do you think of a meat turkey? Or just a turkey? Or just a meat of... You're not helping. Hey, everybody! There's a turkey shortage! No birds for Thanksgiving this year! No birds for Thanksgiving this year! No more birds on Thanksgiving, oh, yeah. no more birds, oh yeah. No more birds on Thanksgiving, oh, no more birds, oh yeah. Come on, let's celebrate! Woo! Meet me! Oh, yeah! No more birds on Thanksgiving, oh, yeah. no more birds, oh yeah. No more birds on Thanksgiving, oh, no more birds, oh yeah. No more birds! Couldn't we just eat them instead? I'm afraid it doesn't work like that, Bingo. Face it, there's a shortage. There's no turkey for Thanksgiving this year. But me and Snorky are gonna go shopping for other things that we can have for Thanksgiving. Like maybe popcorn chicken. Or if you want, we can even bring back some Happy Meals. Come on, Stork! <laughs> yes, you can get a toy with the meal. Well, at least we'll have the stuffing and the mac and cheese. 
Until then, you want to have another pumpkin fight? No, because we're going to have a turkey this year, one way or another. How are we going to do that? Well, I got a brilliant idea. <laughs> So let me get this straight. Your idea is to go to Bunsen's laboratory, use his time machine, and then go back in time to get a turkey before they were in a shortage. You got a problem with that? No, I'm just checking. All right, fellas. This time machine that I have created myself may take you into any year, any month, any time, any place that you want to go. Me, 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 more? Oh, Beaker, of course it's safe. As long as they don't try to change the path, then there's nothing to worry about. Well, you don't need to worry, because we're just going back to get a turkey. That shouldn't harm anything. Yeah, it's not like we're going back in time to get a dinosaur. Unless... Bingo. Whatever you're thinking right now, don't. Oh, it's just that, why go back to get a turkey? I mean, we already know what turkey tastes like. What if we go back and get a dinosaur? Then we can see how a dinosaur tastes like. It might taste delicious. Bingo! That is stupid. Think about what you just said. If we go back and get a dinosaur, it will probably eat us. Not unless I train it. We're not getting a dinosaur and that's final. Okay, fine. <laughs> yes, you can get the toy with the meal. Good evening. I'm Ed Burrow, and the name of this show is Poison to Poison. Tonight, we're visiting the home of a very famous motion picture and television director. Are you there, Alfred? Good evening, Ed, and welcome to my humble little sanctuary. Alfred, you have a very fascinating home. Thank you, Ed. And exquisitely furnished, may I add. For instance, that armchair you're sitting in is very striking. And very expensive, too. Why is it so expensive? It's made out of real arms. What is that music I hear? Hi-fi from your phonograph? No, Ed. That's FM from Mortuary. Where does that door lead to, Alfred? To my chambers. Your private chambers? No, my guest chambers. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Selma. What happened, Alfred? I stepped on my cat's tail. That's strange. I didn't see any cat. There isn't any. Just a tail. Why, oh, I, I see. And this is my library, Ed. Very charming, Alfred. What's in that bottle on the top shelf? Old granddad. On my father's side. Beg pardon, sir. Graves, please don't interrupt me. I'm on television. Live, sir? Perish the thought. Are you going to do any other television besides your own series? Oh, I may do a ghost shot on the Scary Mason show, but really I'm very busy preparing my new cinema. Oh? What's the name of it? It's a musical called Death Takes a Holiday, cha-cha-cha with an all-star cast. Goulbrenner, Perry Coma, Red Skeleton, Slab Hunter, and Mortician Saul. Thank you, Alfred, for letting us visit with you this evening on Poison to Poison. The pleasure was all mine, Ed. Good night, and good luck. <laughs> Oh boy, new friends. And friends starts with the letter F. Ah, too happy and colorful. Let's go. Hmm, 
Now where are we? Hey, wanna see my pencil? Oh gosh, let's go. Alright, we're in the prehistoric age. Oh man, we must have traveled way far back in time. Man, this place looks amazing. Ugh. Yeah, amazing, but also smelly. Dude, seriously, let's get a dinosaur. No way! We're going back. Huh? Well, Snorky, seems that everybody's here. No, we're not gonna start until Bingo and Drooper comes. It seems that I made it just in time. <gasps> Professor Biscuits, you made it! Storky, this is my old science history teacher, Mr. Biscuit. So, are you ready to feast down on some french fries and some popcorn chicken? And I'm aware there's no turkey here? Yeah, if you haven't heard the news, there's a turkey shortage, so we're not having turkey this year. But, on the bright side, if you hurry to your McDonald's back soon, you can get a toy. <sighs> Very well. For any of you who are full and cannot eat more of your chicken nuggets or your french fries, please deliver them to me because I can be a trash can for all your meals. Thank you. You said it, Grump. Where's Drooper and Bingo? Hey, everybody. I got good news. I got turkey. Ugh. No, no! So, who wants the first wing? Hmm? <gasps> uh, what was that? Dinosaur! Maybe he's a friendly dinosaur, like me. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do that again. Fliegel, what is the meaning of this? Trust me, I am more confused than you are right now. Hey, guys. I see you met the main dish. Bingo, what did you do? Well, remember when I said I was going to stay behind? Yeah, you did not. Yep, I went back to the time machine, and I went and got a dinosaur. So let's hurry up and cook it. You idiot! You went back and bought a freaking dinosaur? Are you insane? I want to know what it tastes like. Does that matter? Wait, wait. You're the reason why this dinosaur is here? Ah! Wait, what? Thank goodness I have my return array. Oh man, I'll never get to know what he tastes like. Are you serious? We almost got in alive. Did you not notice that? Of course I, I know that. Believe I cannot believe you. I told you not to get a dinosaur. Is that so wrong? You two got some explaining to do. You two. It's the best thing for a dinosaur. I can't ever just be careless. You cannot. Quiet. Look at you guys. You're fighting on Thanksgiving over a bird? Who cares if we have turkey or not? Thanksgiving is more than just that. This is a time where we come together as a family, not worrying about what to eat. I mean, look at you. You guys are behaving like animals. Uh, technically, we are animals. But Bingo, he's right. Look at us. We're fighting over eating a bird or a dinosaur. That's not Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving isn't about food. It's about being there with your friends and family. And that's exactly what we should do. It's the time to be together, friends and family, one and all. Holding hands and getting acquainted, that's what Thanksgiving is made in. Saying thanks and saying grace, we're all here. On this fine day We don't need meals to share our love When we're together, that's enough 
is the time to be together friends and family one and all holding hands and getting acquainted that's what thanksgiving is made with saying thanks and saying grace we're all here on this fine day we don't need meals to share our love when we're together that's enough Well, my friend, let the dinner begin. Wait, is Barney even alive?